Did you know there's another level after Sierra 117 called Crow's Nest? I made it out of the jungle, found myself on Crow's Nest. Uh, I honestly think it's a great first level um, if you want to get in the hill three speed running. It's got a good mix of combat uh, and movement, and none of the tricks are so difficult that it's overwhelming um, and unachievable for someone who's brand new. We're going to be heading into this first hallway here, which can be a bit of a tricky section. Um, these first three grunts, I'm going to headshot, grab one of the plasma pistols, and then throw some grenades to clear out as many enemies as we can to keep shields. Um, noob combo this brute captain, because once the captain dies, the grunts tend to panic and flee and stop shooting you. Um, prioritize the jackals here. They're the most dangerous with the carbines. And throw a grenade at these grunts so I don't die from getting shot in the back. And now we come into hangar fight, um, which is a really, really cool fight the first time you do it. And then the next 1,000 times or so can be pretty mind-numbing. Um, it is about a two-minute auto-scroller, so there is no way to speed it up. There's no way to skip it. Even if you clip through um, the doors into the next section, it doesn't load the necessary triggers to complete the mission. Um, so all we can do is just kill the enemies as cleanly and quickly as possible, but even killing them quickly doesn't actually speed up the phantoms that are dropping them. Um, as you can see, prioritizing brutes with the noob combo, so they're the most dangerous and we want to make the grunts that they are leading panic and flee. Um, you're going to see me tilt this box and that's for our launch we'll do later and then push up against that wall to grab more BR ammo because there is uh, BRs on the other side of it. Now I can remember doing this section like the first time I played this game and it was actually felt really hard. Um, but if you just kill the enemies as they drop, it is very manageable and very easy. Even if you can't really aim uh, your nades or your shots, which you might see as this goes on, you do not need good aim to be a speedrunner. And I think uh, I'm proof of that. Now here, um, I'm gonna try to grab the brute shot and kind of walk it over to the exit path um, because we'll be using it for a later part of the level. And here you're going to see a perfect grenade toss. I like to kill the phantom gun just so it don't have any like auto aim pulling my uh, crosshair as I exit. And also it, so it doesn't shoot me as I exit <laughs> and kill. Um, so we're going to start walking towards the exit and kill these last three grunts as we're doing that to be as quick as possible. Um, so that's the end of the hangar fight. Another reason I like to get the brute shot set up from the hangar fight there is, um, as you can see, I only got five shots, and I like to have six for the next section, so you can grab the other ammo here. Uh, it's not necessary, but I've got, got to do something during the hangar fight. Here we get this nice little truck boost um, by blowing it up with the frag grenade, just to go a little bit faster as we walk through this level. And the next section we're going to be coming up to is called Drone Fight. Drone Fight. Ugh. So we're going to bounce a frag grenade and kill four or five of the drones here. And then brute shot them as they come out of the pipe. Look at all those nares for the montage. <laughs> Throw down a deployable cover. Um, and I didn't know this until I actually started speedrunning the game. You can shoot um, ballistic weapons through that side of the DC. Um, so that's how I was able to shoot and kill those drones as they came out of the pipes. And the DC still protects you from their plasma pistol shots. Um, I think a lot of people don't know that, <laughs> but it is a thing. And coming into um, this section here, we're going to plasma pistol and shoot and kill the chieftain and hope that they drop a invincibility because they can also drop a flare. It's more likely they drop an invincibility. Um, there is a backup strat if you do get the flare drop, but it is slower. So the invincibility just allows you to walk through all these enemies. It basically runs out perfectly on time as you drop through. And we're gonna be setting up the first hammer launch of the run. So we pop a grenade to pop the grade up there. 
and we're gonna do another hammer launch pretty much immediately in what's called a barrack skip. So normally you'd have to go through that door and fight all these brutes, probably take another minute and a half, two minutes, uh, but instead we just do a hammer launch across the chasm and skip that entire section. Hammer launches are really vital and important to the Halo 3 speedrun, and the way they work basically is you're going to walk up to an object, push against it, swing the hammer, and the force of the hammer swing will actually hit behind the object, pushing it into you, which then launches you. Um, so really good way to go fast and skip sections, as you saw. We're heading into the jetpack fight, which can be a pretty difficult combat section. Um, try to kill one brute with that first frag, but unfortunately I miss. Um, as once two brutes die, it's going to spawn the next group right up here. And then once six brutes die from this next section, it will spawn the last group in. Now you're also gonna see, as I kill these brutes, I grab an invincibility, or not an invincibility, a camo, which I'll be using for a later section. And ideally you'd spawn kill these four brutes as they run out. Um, unfortunately, one gets away, so I have to do some cleanup here, which loses a bit of time. This was not the fastest jetpack fight, but it wasn't terrible either. Once you see that loading done, you know that you've cleared that section. Throw a grenade here as there's drones, and they can actually shoot you and kill you. Um, Johnson says he has you covered, but he's a liar. <laughs> and even sometimes the Marines' grenades that they throw at the drones will kill you. And we're going to come into a Cortana moment here, and we always walk diagonally through Cortana moments because that is somehow faster than walking straight just for those moments. I don't know why. Do another box launch here. Uh, not perfect. Ideally, wouldn't run into that wall, but gets the job done. And this is why we picked up the camo, because there's multiple grunts on turrets. There's jackals with snipers. Uh, it's just so much easier to not be detected. This is the bomb room, and I'm going to opt for the fastest way to do it. There are safer ways that are a little bit slower, uh, but I just went for the box launch, and it worked quite well. And throwing grenade um, at the brute on the turret there so that he gets off of the turret. And then throwing another grenade just to try and get the brutes to do a dodging animation instead of shooting me uh, as I exit. And now the only thing we have left to do in this level is get back to the hangar and take the elevator to end it. Unfortunately, that boost there with the frag and the hammer was not as smooth as it could be. You can get a lot better of a boost. Um, I really like this next trick that we get to do. Sometimes it's called butterflying in Halo 3. And essentially, we're going to melee the drone, which will cause us to lunge at them, and then cancel that lunge immediately, or the melee immediately, with a reload, and keep doing that over and over to basically stay on top of the drone by meleeing it and lunging towards it, but never actually killing it. Um, a really cool trick. I can still remember the first time I saw, I think it was History, um, do that, and... It was definitely one of the tricks that made me want to speedrun Halo just because it looks so cool. And this is the box we set up uh, with our BR shots for that last launch towards the elevator. And even though I hit the button here at about 8.30, there is a long, long elevator ride down. So that's going to be Crow's Nest on Legendary in 9 minutes and 2 seconds. Like I said, a great first level if you want to learn speedrunning for Halo 3. And you can feel free to message me with any questions or comment um, on the video. You can also join the Halo Runs Discord where there's lots of tutorials and helpful people if you want to get into running at all. And I'm sure I will be uh, seeing you all soon with a silo clip world record for Crows now that I'm clearly so good at it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.